Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. And today, we uh, we finished up our mowing about noon, as we've been doing here lately because of the heat. And I went and got some new shoes on the truck. I was about due for some new tires, or at least in my opinion. You know, I don't know what you guys do on tires, but I don't like to run them until they're just totally wore out. So, these are uh, from my local tire shop, or one of them. Uh, that I like to go to. These are Dick CPEC Trail Country EXP. I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera, but there we go. Trail Country EXP. And uh, just for reference, this is a 2011 F250 with the 6.2 liter gas and uh, four wheel drive. And these are 315 70 17s still just uh, using the factory steel wheels. I kind of like those. It's, it's, you know, I mean, this is just a work truck, but it's it's also my daily driver, but I, I kind of like the steel wheels. They're just low maintenance and uh, they work. So anyway, the tires that he, that he set me up with, my buddy at Tony's Tire, these are a hybrid type tire. So they're, they're somewhere between an all-terrain and an off-road tire. I told him that I wanted something a little bit more aggressive than what I had because those just weren't getting around all that great in some situations. Uh, we had a fire call oh, a few nights ago and I had to had to drive through a field to get to the edge of a, a wood line where there was a brush fire at or a woods fire and I got there okay you know in four-wheel drive but those those tires that I had on were just doing a lot of uh, a lot of slipping, so I wanted something a little bit more aggressive, but something that's not going to be loud and obnoxious out on the highway or anything like that, and obviously something that's still going to wear good. So I'll show you the tires that I took off, and I did go up a size. Uh, the tires that I took off are a 285, 70, 17. They're of course they're dirty. I just came off of a county road today driving these but you know as you can see there's still some tread left on them um, there's if you measure it there's actually just under a quarter of an inch of tread left and these are 10 ply tires so you know I could have kept running them for a while but but like I said I uh, I start to lose my traction factor and you're also starting to get into the the time in a tires life where you're gonna have have more of a uh, probability or possibility of having having flats and uh, that kind of thing. So these have enough life in them. I can sell them to somebody to go ahead and use a little bit longer. But for me, um, it's worth the, worth the money to just go ahead and go ahead and put new tires on and not have to worry about having any downtime. Um, you know, having flats, having traction issues, you know, also hydroplaning. Uh, we get some pretty good downpours here and uh, you know, when your tires start to get like the old tires were, you have one of those good downpours and you're driving on pavement, pulling a trailer, the last thing you want to do is be worried about whether or not you're going to hydroplane. So anyway, that's all this is about. Just wanted to kind of show off the new meats on the truck. And uh, I gave it a little bit of love today, put some tires on it, gave it a bath, and uh, checked all my fluids and everything. So good to go for the next round of mowing but uh, anyway guys let me know what you do on tires I mean do you just run them until until there's nothing left you know I mean would those tires still be acceptable in your opinion would you go ahead and run them until you started having flats or until you just totally wore them out or uh, do you do what I do and and try to try to go ahead and replace them when they get to that point point? and by the way those tires have let's see they're just a little over a year and a half old because um, I bought them just right after I bought this truck. And they've got 20, I want to say 23,000 miles on them. Somewhere between 22 and 25,000 miles on them. So, I mean, I think I got my money's worth out of that set for a three-quarter ton truck that's almost always pulling a trailer. Um, you know, and I rotate them every 5,000 miles to try to keep the wear even on them. But I think I, think I definitely got my money's worth out of those tires but anyway let me know what you guys do and uh, I'm gonna get back to work but you guys get out there 
and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one.